Good day, gentlemen. This is your humble vassal, Professor J. Ma, coming to you with the final, third and final book in the series for the Empress Club, and it's called Checkmate. Oh, I'm on the beach. Well, not on the beach, but it's not much of a beach. But anyway, I'm wait I came 30 minutes early to my, my meeting, so I decided to do the introduction to the checkmate out here. I mean, the sunset isn't that spectacular, but you may like it. Anywho, like I said, this is the third and final installment in the Empress Club. It's called Checkmate. And I have to start off with a quote I got from the Angry Man. And he's the one who inspired me to do this. So shout out to the Angry Man. Check him out, gentlemen. You won't be disappointed. You can learn a lot from him. Now, he started off a series he was doing with a quote by Fabulous, the rapper. And the quote says, I would rather have 10 lions than a thousand sheep. I'm like, oh my God, that is so wonderful. That is beautiful. I love that. I would rather have a thousand, 10 lions than a thousand sheep. And the point behind that is, in the Emperor's Club, if I only have 10 candidates, believe you me, that's going to be worth it. That's going to be more than enough. Because remember, the, the British have a saying that one educated man is equal to a thousand uneducated men. So having 10 lions will be awesome. And if the calculations in the Bible is correct about one man chasing a thousand and two ten thousand, ten lions are more than enough to be shapers of destiny and agents of change. But however, the more the merrier. So all are welcome. Of course, you have to go through the initiation process. All right. Now, then there's another quote I want to share that I got from Confucius. Uh, this is why in Empress Club we stress character, morals, values, and principles. Uh, the quote goes as thus. If the master beam is crooked, how then can the roof be straight? And by now you should know that in order to handle power, you have got to have character. And in the Empress Club, since we're both changing destiny, you're going to need to be able to handle lots of power. And therefore, you must have much character. And that's the reason why I harp on it. It's not to hear myself talk. It's so that you know that there's a standard. And that's why I love the United States Marine Corps. Even though I had a love-hate relationship with them. But I love the fact that from its inception to this day, they have yet to lower their standards. You either meet the standard or have a coke and a smile. And in the Empress Club, it is the same thing. There's a standard, there's no exception. You meet it, or find the door. That's all there is to it. So you know beforehand to check yourself before you enter this door. If you do, it is expected. And we assume that you know what is expected of you. All right, gentlemen. Now, Jay-Z said something that I love, and, and Pound Cake, I love that song, with him and Drake. And he said, less is more, there's plenty of us. <laughs> less is more, there's plenty of us. So gentlemen, if, just, if there's just a small number of you in the Empress Club, don't let that deter you or cause you to lose heart. Less is more, there's plenty of us. One equals a thousand, and if two chase ten thousand, imagine how much ten can chase. All right, now, as usual, there's going to be 12 chapters and a bonus. Now, the 12 chapters are, the chapter one is, grab the bull by the horn. <laughs> now, I came across this wisdom from my math teacher when... I was passing by and he was talking to one of my, my classmates. Now, 
I didn't hear. You know, I didn't hear the, the conversation, but all I heard was, in life you have to grab the bull by the horns. There's a lesson in that, and that's the first chapter. The second chapter is the wisdom I got from my sister, that practice makes permanent. Yes, gentlemen, you must be very careful of your habits. Remember, you're here to be agents of change and shapers of destiny. And your habits will determine your future and destiny. And three, discipline. Now you know that the bedrock of the Emperor's Club is discipline. Because to be handling power, you must be disciplined. You must have self-control. You must have mastery over yourself. And there's a saying, and this is why I call it the Emperor's Club, that a man who has control over himself is worth a king's ransom. Excuse me, so if you're in this club, this, in this club you are deemed to be a king, and you held to that standard. Now chapter four, common sense. Common sense, you can't go far without this. I remember my grandmother told me, that when I go to college, I'm not supposed to get so educated that I forget my common sense. I was offended by this until as I grew older, I realized that some people are really stupid that they don't use their common sense. And that's not gonna be here, gentlemen. Even though the focus is on education, we're not forgetting our common sense. Oh, this water is so hypnotic. Look at that. Okay, now where was I? Ah, chapter five. Manners and respect. Gentlemen, this goes without saying. If you have to be told this, you're in the wrong spot. Mind your manners. Be careful how you treat people because you never know who you're talking to for today or who that person may be in the future. And the wheel of fortune turns. Oh, I hope I can see a hammerhead shark over here for you. Because uh, um, about six months ago, there were like 18, 20 foot hammerheads here. Well, anyway, I probably make a hobby to come up more often to see if I can catch a picture for you. And chapter six is called Born James Bond. Um, these are lessons you can, I have learned from watching James Bond. And I'll pass them on to you. And chapter seven, when the student is ready. This is serious business, gentlemen. This is why you to be a life learner. So that you will always be given teachers by the universe to help you improve. Uh, chapter eight, it's called Pot of Cake, Pot of Cake. Because it is about lessons I learned about life from baking cakes. Uh, chapter nine is called Seed Time and Harvest, which is very important. Because like Solomon says, there's a time for everything under the sun and you've got to know when to do things. And chapter 10 is focus. Now Mike Murdoch said that if your life falls apart, it can be traced back to work and focus. That is how important being focus is, so we have to deal with that. And chapter 11, devil in the blue dress. Gentlemen, you are not to entertain evil in the story. Chapter 12, alchemy and the bonus. Catch you on the flip side, gents.